But of course, we also need to think about the cost of blood. Blood is a living tissue. It doesn't have a very long shelf life. We need to be very sparing in how we use it because at some point in our lives, we all might require a blood transfusion because of a disease process, because of trauma, or because of blood loss in uh, theatre, for example, or having an operation. So, of course, service standard number seven for blood management is very applicable to us as clinicians in terms of how we provide blood, how we use blood, how we care for blood, and how we care for the patient when we're giving them those blood products. The governing bodies, such as the National Blood Authority, provide us regulations and the ability to understand our responsibilities and obligations in using blood. And managers, of course, need to know how to help us to do that, to provide the structure and processes that we can use to ensure that we're providing blood safely to our patients. And of course, at the end of the day, what I want everybody to do is to think about how we as clinicians can improve blood management throughout clinical practice, regardless of the setting and our role.